Hey everybody, today I decided that I'm going to do some candles for you guys to show you guys uh, how to make hand dipped candles. Now, there's some information that I would like to share with everybody first before doing this. One, make sure that whenever you're doing this, that you've got animals put away so that they're not coming in, getting in your way, and stepping around you so you don't fall and hurt yourself and knock the pot of wax over. Make sure that you ain't got the little kids around because this stuff is like really, really dangerous. So that's that's the first little bit of information. Um, a second little bit of information for those of you that don't know where to get wicks, I actually have here. This came from Michaels. This is actually lead free wicking. There's actually six foot here, and this was like either three or four ninety nine that I paid for this. So. Um, Walmart normally carries this type of stuff, but the problem is, is that a lot of the wicking that they have has actually got lead in it, and I don't like breathing in lead fumes, so, um, Michaels is a good place to get this. Now, there's an address. If you don't have a Michaels in your store, or in your city, um, Daily Enterprises, 7664, uh, a V I A N C A Drive, Redding, California, nine six zero zero two. This is actually the supply company that makes these. So um, there's a little bit of that information there for you. Now, the next little bit of information I want to share with everybody is that I'm doing candles. I'm doing a friendship candle on a wanting moon on Friday. Friday has to do with friendships and drawing friendships to you. Wanting moon has to do with banishing. Now, you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, okay, why is she making a candle on the wanting moon wanting to banish friendship? I, I, I'm making this candle because I want to bring friendship into my life. And this talks about um, uh, polarity magic. Polarity magic, what happens is that like attracts like. So if I do this and I say to myself, I don't need friends, I don't want friends, I don't want no friends in my life whatsoever, and I focus on that while working on my candle, then what's going to happen is I'm going to get the opposite effect. So think about it for a second. What happens when you think about something and you go, I don't want this to happen, I don't want this to happen, I don't want this to happen, but yet it happens. Or you don't want that, that phone call from that person and that, then that person calls. Well, that's what polarity magic is all about, is actually bringing the opposite effect to you. So if I do this from a negative standpoint, then it's going to bring positive to me, which is, means that I'm actually going to wind up getting friends. So well, how we're going to do this, is um, this right here, this, this candle right here, this is actually a seven-day candle that I found at a second-hand store and um, took the Virgin Mary off of it and uh, cleaned it up really good and got all the old wax out of it. And I've because I'm such a recycle junkie, um, Silver Wolf, you hand me that, uh, the, the Folgers container, the whole entire thing. Because I recycle candle wax. Like, I've got three containers of candle wax. So I've got dark colors, I've got light colors, and I've got pastel type colors. So, I don't normally, if I can't do it, I don't normally buy, my, uh, buy candles. I try to recycle. So, what I did was um, I cut a wick and tied a knot into it. And uh, I boo-booed on this one, so I had to break all the wick off and or all the candle wax off and, and recycle the wick. So you actually kind of make the wick long enough, pretty much long enough as as the uh, candle is tall. And uh, once you've done that, you melt your wax. Now, now I don't have a thermometer, but there, um, candle wax, this type of paraffin candle wax does have a flash point, so once it gets past 350 or 375, there is a flash point on this, so this will catch fire. So um, once you've gotten the wax melted down, 
put your pan and your candle wax on the lowest setting on your stove possible. And if it tends to get a little slushy on you, just pick it back up and um, and turn the turn it back up and get the heat going on it again. Now, whenever making candles, whether it's during a waxing moon or a wanting moon, since it's a wanting moon, you're going to want. To, I'm actually using a pencil. You're going to want to take your wax and you're going to want to stir it counterclockwise just to keep keep the wax all the settlement floating down to the bottom of the, of the container and if it was waxing then you would want to do it clockwise so because it's uh, warning I'm doing it counterclockwise so now we're going to Grab the candle and gonna stop so right about that way and you're just gonna blow on it or let it cool off for a couple of seconds and then you're gonna re dip it back in. And usually the first five or ten dunks, you all, you start seeing right away that uh, it's getting stuff on it. Okay. And this is all you do to make candles. You sit here. Normally I sit here with a fan. So I have a fan in front of me, so it's blowing the wax, and I'm kind of dipping a little faster than what I'm doing. So I'm going to stop the camera so I can get a layer built up onto this and I come back I will actually um, show you what it looks like after I've dipped it and I'll be back with you shortly